Mr. Hitler If you think we're on the run We are the boys who will stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are giving Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Oh, well, Mr. Mannering, I'm afraid it looks as if you've been left holding the baby Yes, it does indeed <laughs> Do you mind if I set this Lewis gun up while we talk, do you? No, not at all. No. It's my first job every morning. In case of a sudden attack, you know. Oh, right. <laughs> um, and now, to return to the problem of the late Mr. Johnson. Uh, as you know, he excuse had... Excuse me a moment, would you just excuse me a moment? Pike. Sir? Tell Carter Pattersons to move their van, will you? <laughs> the horse is blocking our line of fire. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Mr... Uh... Uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, the problem of the late Mr. Johnson, no, as I... you know, he had no relatives. No. Ah, Wilson. This is my chief clerk, Mr. Wilson. He's okay. dealing with Mr. Johnson's affairs. Ah, yes. yes. Now, the point is this. When Mr. Johnson died, the only possessions he had in the world were the clothes that he stood up in and his boat. The, uh, the naughty Jane. Right. It will have to be sold, of course, but that may not be easy. After all, not many people want to buy a boat in wartime. Yes, quite, and there's another little problem as well, you see. Unfortunately, his account was uh, overdrawn. Wait a minute. Uh, there it is, sir. To the extent of £33.12 and six. Ah, uh, mm. Yes, well, in that case, of course, the, uh, the boat becomes the property of the bank and can be sold to offset this overdraft. Yes, quite. Well, perhaps you could put a... An advertisement in the local paper and just simply say that this, uh, this boat is for sale. Yes, do that, will you, Wilson? Right, sir. Uh, well, I'll be off now, Mr. Mannering. Mm. I'll um, leave you my account just in case you do manage to sell the boat and there's any money over when you've paid off the overdraft. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Good day. Good day. See you. Good day. See you. Good day. See you. <laughs> <clears throat> well, you'll want that, won't you, Wilson? Oh, yes, yes. The killers of the rowing boat. Mm hmm. Fifteen feet long, five foot beam, four oars, see where the condition, blah, blah. Yes, well, that's not going to be very much good, is it? I mean, we can't uh, go rowing about in the sea in wartime. It isn't actually on the sea. It's about a mile upstream on the river. Oh. Anybody can go and look at it if they want to. Hmm? Now, look here, I think we'd better get down to this uh, bit. Wait a minute. I've had an idea. Now, be careful, sir. Please, be, be, be careful. <laughs> river patrols. That's it, Wilson. River patrols. Half a dozen determined men... Armed to the teeth with a boat. They could, they could play havoc with the Nazis if they got a foothold. What? Do you see it? Swift, silent patrols, hitting the enemy where it hurts most, then disappearing into the night, quietly without a sound, silently cutting through the water. Muffled oars, of course. <laughs> Muffled oars? Oh, yes. That's how General Wolfe kept it Quebec, you know. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. He rode up the St. Lawrence with muffled oars. <laughs> Taught those froggies a thing or two. <laughs> what exactly are muffled oars? Well, um, well we'll ask somebody about that. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, we're on duty five nights a week from the Novelty Rock Emporium to Godfrey's Cottage. The railway bridge, the gas works, the telephone exchange, mobile patrols in Jones's van. I mean, really, isn't it? I mean, it's, 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 it's too much. <laughs> Do I detect a slight lack of enthusiasm in your <laughs> well, we must have some rest, sir. I realise that. I don't want to try the thing out. Now, look here, today's Friday. Uh, the next parade's on Sunday morning, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll try this boat out immediately after tea this afternoon. Right, sir. Now, I shall want six volunteers. Detail Pike, Desmond, Fraser, <laughs> Jones, Walker and Godfrey. Get a message to them today. All right, sir. All right, we'll do that. Well, thank you very much indeed, gentlemen, for coming at such short notice. And I'd also like to propose a vote of thanks to Sergeant Wilson here for mocking up this very good boat for us. Very good, Sergeant. Shows great imagination. Thank you very much. As a matter of fact, my nanny taught me how to do that years ago. <laughs> when I was in the nursery. Did she? <laughs> <laughs> Just take your place, 
<laughs> well, I want to work out some sort of drill, you see, with this, with this, with this mock-up, so that we know exactly what we're doing when we get on the river with the actual boat. After all, there may be people watching. We don't want to make fools of ourselves in public, do we? No, we don't want to, but with him in charge, what choice have we got? <laughs> now, you may or may not believe this, gentlemen, but yesterday, this time yesterday, I knew absolutely nothing at all about boats. I was a nautical virgin, as you might say. <laughs> <clears throat> so I, uh, I knew there's only one person who could possibly give me any help. Miss Beckwith. So I went round to her, told her all about it, and she gave me a little handbook called How to Handle Your Oars. <laughs> which I understand is, is issued to, to the Sea Scouts. And uh, now I think I can safely say that I've at least mastered the, the basic points of, of, boatsman, of boatmanship. <clears throat> and I'm sure if I go wrong, Fraser will be only too glad to put me right. I I want that. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, ah, Godfrey. I got all excited. I, I was playing bowls. Oh, that's a good omen. So was Drake. <laughs> they're doing yes they're sitting in a boat just take your place will you forward forward what do you say the word is forward oh, yes forward forward of course yes <laughs> <laughs> let's get these things right now <clears throat> Fraser will be steering so he will be the coxswain coxswain the coxswain yes yes <laughs> and uh, I shall sit next to him here uh, aft on the on the aft <laughs> <laughs> and of course I shall be an overall charge. Now, come, move your legs, boy. Right, now the oars. Pass around the oars, Pike. Mr. Speaks, sir. I'd like to volunteer to be in charge of the oars, please, sir. I've just detailed Pike to do that. <laughs> yes, sir, but I, I was a bit disappointed. I thought you were going to let me be the coxswain, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's your right, thank you very much, sir. I'll be the oars up now. The oars, boys. Here's the oars, right. Here we are. Here's the oars. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, I want to hold the the uh, hold the the, uh, the 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 oars vertically. Do you see with the blades in the air? That's it. Not quite so high, Pike. <laughs> down, but bring it down, boy. That's right. Balance it on your thwart. <laughs> <laughs> now, when I give the order, ship oars. I want you to lower them down into the uh, rawlocks. <laughs> To the Rolocks. <laughs> Go on, now do it. Go on, put them down. Now, basically, we'll, we'll give you the command catch. And upon that, you, you sink the blades into the water. On the command pull, you pull. When he says up, you up. <laughs> and when he says feather, you, you. Well, let's just try that, shall we? <laughs> Please, white boys. Now, catch, pull, up, feather, catch. Pull up, feather, catch, pull! Yeah, hold, it, hold, 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 hold it a moment. Just, uh, Corporal. Huh? Corporal Jones. <laughs> You're not keeping up with the others. He may not be keeping up with the others, but here I've given the floor a good clean. <laughs> now, when I, want, when I want to hold the boat quite still, I give the command, hold water. You got that? Hold water. Oh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> If there was any rowing, I could do a little if it was needed. Oh, thank you, Godfrey. I think we'll carry on as we are at the moment, thank you. <laughs> right, come on, let's have another go at this. Catch! Pull! Up! Catch! Pull! Up! Feather! Catch! Pull! Up! Feather! Catch! Pull! Up! Feather! Catch! Pull! Up! Feather! Excellent, men. Catch! Pull! Up! Feather! Good idea to mind, Fraser, to have a practice beforehand. Uh, I wasn't teacher. Quite a few people watching us from the bank, Wilson. I think we're making a good impression. Oh, yes, sir, yes. Awfully good, sir. <laughs> keep it up, son! Keep it up! Yes, come on, Pike. Keep it up. Throwing the whole stroke out. Can't help it, Mr. Mannering. Feels sick. <laughs> Calm as a mill pond. Still feel sick. <laughs> Hold water. This is no time to be feeling sick. Showing us up in front of the public. I can't help it, Mr. Mannering. You better get down to the bottom of the boat. I don't want anybody to see us. The only one thing for it, I shall have to take your place. You think that's wise? 
Now, here's an excellent opportunity for you to observe the correct procedure for walking about on a boat. <laughs> Catch! Pull! Up! Feather! Catch! Pull! Captain Manrin! Feather! Permission to stop catching up in pulling and feathering, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a bit foggy, you know, sir. <laughs> Nonsense. Only a bit of sea mist. <laughs> Believe me, I know this stretch of water like the back of my hand. <laughs> We're just going to row down to the mouth of the river and then turn back. No, sir, it's getting awfully thick, you know. I mean, I can hardly see to read. <laughs> Blimey, and I'm coming up, sir. Oh, all right. Turn the boat round, Fraser. Right. You! Stop rowing. You. You two only. Catch! Pull! Up! Feather! Catch! Pull! Up! Feather! Catch! Pull! All together! Up! Feather! Catch! Pull! That's got it. You sure you've turned this boat round? Of course I've turned it round. Can you see the bank? Wilson, I can't even see you. <laughs> Look here. You better come up here and relieve me so that I can concentrate on the navigation. All right, sir. Let's go. Pike. Pike, get in the bottom of the boat. Come on, get, come on, get, get in the bottom of the boat. Don't, don't. Come on, boys. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I'll be here in a minute. Oh, hey. oh, 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 it's all right. It's all right, Frank. I'm sorry. I didn't, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't know you were there. Right, I'll take over the steering now. But you don't know anything about a rudder. Let me be the best judge of that. Do you think that's wise? But I want your opinions, I'll ask for them. Right, now all pull together. Come on. Pull! Pull! Put your back into it, Wilson, come on. My best. A bit dark pretty soon, won't be able to see anything at all. Not exactly crystal clear at the moment. Never lose. <laughs> right. Pull! Pull! Right, rest on your oars, men. Well, oh, thank goodness this mist has lifted. Should be well upstream by now. Can you see the bank, Fraser? I'm having nothing to do with this. I'll, I'll wash my hands of the whole affair. I don't need to sulk about it. Well, uh, what is it, Frank? Right? What? I don't know, I feel awful. Can I have a glass of water? Oh, don't be upset. <laughs> I haven't got a glass of water. Here, here, hang on, son. I'll get you a drop of water. Hang on, here we go. Oh, no, no, Joe. Mum won't let me drink river water. It is full of germs. Here, listen. Do you want a drink or don't you? There you go. Right. Mm. Right! Oh, I can't drink that. It's all salty. What? Salt? All salt? Hang on. Blimey, it is. It's salt. Yeah. If it's salt, we're at sea. We're at sea! Don't panic! Oh, don't panic! Sailor Fraser. And I you... suppose you got us into him, Joe. And you should have took over the steering, you remember? All right, all right, that'll do. I'll be quiet, everybody, while I think of what to do. Permission to speak, sir. <laughs> yes. Why don't we all shout help? <laughs> yes, that might not be a bad idea. I, perhaps you would have made a uh, hoy, sir. You see, it sounds a little bit more urgent. <laughs> yes, yes, perfectly right. All right, we'll all shout together then. Here we go. Ho -ho! Sir. Look here, sir. Uh, if we could find the north and then row towards it, at least it would take us back to the shore. Yes. Yes, that's good thinking. Where's the north, Fraser? <laughs> Why, ask me. You're the one that knows it all. Take another look at the back of your hand. Yeah. Fraser, I think I'm being extremely childish about this. Ah, now, Anybody got any suggestions as to how we find the north? Moss grows on the north sides of trees, if, if, if that helps. <laughs> it doesn't, Godfrey. Sir, if you, if you point the hour hand of your watch towards the sun and halve that between 12 o'clock, that points towards the south. Happens to be dark, Corporal. <laughs> oh, perhaps we might point it towards the moon. No, no, no. Different thing altogether. No, no, you, you, you've got to have the sun. We used to find our way by that in the Sudan, you know. Got a lot of sun out there. 
Except that night, of course, we didn't get a lot of sun that night. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps we can find the North Star. I mean, that might be a help. Oh, you need the great, you need the great bear for that. Oh. That's the great bear. That's a group of stars that is made like a milk saucepan, it's like in that shape. <laughs> and then opposite the handle, see that all the stars they point towards the North. So if it was a real milk saucepan, that'd be the part where you pour the milk out. You Hence see. the expression, the Milky Way. Oh, no. <laughs> Walker. I've rebuked you many times in the past, passing stupid remarks. I'm very glad to see that the gravity of the situation has not killed your lively sense of cockney humour. Chaps like you are the backbone of England. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I mean, I was only trying to keep people cheerful, wasn't I? Nicely. Very comforting to know that in a crisis like this, we're all sticking together so well. <laughs> Got mana in. Oh. I'd like to apologise. What you just said made me realise I, I, I've been here very badly. Thank you, Fraser. Now perhaps you'll tell us where the North is. I can't. Why not? Because I don't bloody well know. <laughs> you think I'd be sitting in this boat with you gang a, a, a stupid sassen ox of a new the way? What about the stars? Ah, it's too... not too much cloud. Mr. Speak, sir, if you get a piece of cotton with a needle on the end <laughs> and you hang it on top of your palm of your hand, that will swing towards the north. You silly old duffer, that's for pregnant women. <laughs> So whether they're going to have a bar or a go? Yeah, it's good for that and all. <laughs> Uncle Arthur. What is this? I read a story in Hotspur once about a group of men who were adrift for days and days in an open boat. Oh. In the end, they got so angry they had to eat one of them. <laughs> They had to draw lots to find out which one. Who lost? The captain. <laughs> you stupid boy. <laughs> I don't think I'd like to eat Mr. Manor in Uncle Arthur. I, oh, I know him too well. Oh, don't be absurd. <laughs> it's a silly Frank. Say. Hmm. Uncle Arthur. What is it? Do you think I'll go blind? <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, I say if you do it, you'll go blind. Do what? Drink seawater. <laughs> you don't go blind drinking seawater, you just go. just go mad instead. <laughs> do you think I'll go mad? Oh, don't be silly, don't be silly. Well, the ancient mariner did. Yes, well, he, he drank rather more than you did. What sort of time is it, Wilson? Right? Oh. Here, I'll just sit up a bit. It's rather difficult down here. Uh, it's five o'clock. Oh, is it? Yeah. All right. Pay attention, men. Oh! It'll be light soon. Yeah. Steady. We to be spotted by a boat. Yeah. What? What happens if we're not spotted? We're only in the English Channel, you know, Walker. There are plenty of boats about. I suppose it's a German boat, sir. Not any of that sort of talk here, Wilson. <laughs> there are no German boats in the English Channel. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> speak, sir. Yeah. I can hear voices that are not us from over there. Here they are again, sir. I Jove, you're right. Oh, we can't be too far from the shore after all. Look, let's all shout together. Ahoy. Excuse like... me, do you think that's wise? Please, Wilson. But it just occurred to me, sir, that if we, if, we, if we started to shout now, you know, they might mistake us for being Germans, you see, and they might shoot at us. Yes, yes, that's good thinking, Sergeant. <laughs> now, I tell you what we'll do. <coughs> we'll row in very, very quietly. When we get well inshore, we'll all shout together. 
so that they'll know we're British. Okay. Mr. Speaker, yes. why don't we muffle our rollocks so they won't be able to hear them clanking? <laughs> very good idea, Josie. Excellent. Did you, uh, did you find out about all that, sir? Well, I'm. Uh... Here. Why don't we use our forage caps? That should do the trick. There you are, sir. There it is. That's how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take your places. <laughs> well done, men. We've made it. Now, listen. When I say go, I want us all to shout together as loud as we can. Ahoy there! We're British. We got this? Sir, sir. Right, stand by. I don't think we're in England. <laughs> we must have drifted across the channel. <laughs> Don't you think perhaps we ought to surrender? After all, we are armed and in uniform. I don't think the Germans are going to like this very much. I'm going to pretend that I never heard that remark. This is the only sensible thing to do. I mean, we can't possibly take on the entire German army. Yes, yeah, sir. Can't we shove off again now? Then we'll get back without being seen. No, that's no good, Walker. It'll be light again soon. We'll be spotted at once out on the open water. We'll be caught like rats in a trap. There's only one thing to do. We must creep ashore and hide until it's dark again. Start taking off your boots. Keep as close to the wall as you can. Captain Mary, sir. What is he called? Do you think I might be excused? <laughs> Certainly not. We were an awful long time in that boat, sir. You should have taken advantage of it, shouldn't you? <laughs> Stop. They'll spot us if we stay here much longer, sir. My feet are killing me. Look, it's a railway siding over there. We'll go and hide in one of the trucks. Right. Come on. Quick, shake. Right, men. Get into one of these trucks. Give us a light, mate. Oh, sure. Tom. <laughs> Blimey, listen to that racket. Been going on all night. Some party, eh? They certainly know how to celebrate, those French-Canadian pilots. What's it in aid of, then? Well, their squadron shot down its 50th Nazi plane. Oh. So they've hired the room over the pub for the night. It's a wonder <laughs> nobody's complained. Well, who's going to complain after what they've done? Oh, you're right there, mate. Well... Good luck to him. Come on, come on, son. There you go. Right. Everybody here? Yes, sir. Yes. Shut the door. Right. Stop putting your boots on. And what are you going to do next? That's a trouble. We're going to hide up here until it gets dark again, and then we're going to go and try and find the boat. Hey, hang on. It's only just turned light. That means we're going to be here for the whole day. That's right. We shall starve, Mr. Manry. Oh, no, we shan't. <laughs> Won't do any harm at all to go without food for an hour or two. You eat too much as it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now settle down best you can. Let's get what rest we can. The last time I saw Paris, her heart was warm and gay. I heard the laughter. Of... Mr. Manrin. There is. What is it? Permission to worry you, sir. <laughs> what is it for? It's going diddly dum, diddly dum, diddly dum. What? It's saying it's moving, it's moving. What? <laughs> look, look. Good heavens. We're in the heart of the country. I can see treetops. Good heavens. We must be in the middle of France. <laughs> Don't panic! We're in France! Don't panic! Better immobilize our weapons at once. We don't want them to fall into the enemy right. hands. 
Walker, huh? open that door just a few inches. Right. Now take all your bolts out of your rifles. And they're shut. Throw them out through the door. <laughs> One. Take the butterfly spring out of that and lose Wait, it. Wait, sir. Looks like we're going to have to surrender after all, sir. Surrender? Of course we don't. What we're going to do is... Drop off one by one and make our way back to the coast. Oh, I see. Hey, wait, maybe we can't do that, sir. I mean, in these uniforms, they'd spot us in a minute. No, no, they wouldn't. Start taking your blouses off. Hey, we have all got civilian shirts on underneath. You just roll up your tunics, tuck them under your shirts. Do you think that's wise? Oh, just get on with it, Wilson. Oh, no. We should get shot to spy, sir. Oh, no, you won't. Keep your forage caps in your pockets. If the worst comes to the worst, put them on and put the tunics back on. Leave you me, they won't be able to touch you. <laughs> oh, Mr. Manry, you're our inspiration, sir. What would we do without you? Wouldn't it have wouldn't been this bloody awful mess to stop? <laughs> All right, now, line up. Come on. Line up along here. <laughs> Come in. We're in a very tricky spot. <laughs> but the situation isn't hopeless. Now, what we're going to do is this. Every time the train stops, we're going to drop off, one by one, make our way back to the coast. From then on, it's up to every man to get across the channel the best way he can. Now, uh, just before we part, I want to say thank you to you all and, and wish you good luck. Desmond. <laughs> chin up. Chin up. Bye, Walker. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck, Fraser. Cheer up, sir. Don't worry, Godfrey. You stick with me. I'll get you home. Bye, yeah. Mr. Manrin, sir. Bye, Corporal. <laughs> well, Wilson, this is it. Yes. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's all right. Hang on. All right, sir. It's all right. There's no need to overdo it. Right, the train stop. Corporal, you're the first. Right, sir, right, Walk sir. up. Open that door. Hang on. Oh, yeah. oh, wait a minute, sir. You're still wearing your hat. Hang on, it's a bit stiff. Right. Chuck it, chuck it, chuck it. We've stopped at the station. I do hope that man didn't see us. Well, of course he saw us. Don't be absurd. To try and bluff our way out of it. What's the French for what is this station? Uh, um, Qu'est-ce que c'est la gare? Qu'est-ce que c'est la gare? Right. Uh, 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 bonjour, monsieur. Qu'est-ce que c'est la... la gare? Eh? Qu'est-ce que c'est la gare? Oh, uh, la gare est Eastbourne, actually. <laughs> Why are you speaking French? Because we're British. Eastbourne? Eastbourne! What are you doing here? I'm waiting for the 12.30 to Warmington on sea. Oh, well, that's one of us. That's why so we can wait with him and all go back to the time for lunch. We're not getting on any train, Wilson. We're going back along that track to pick up those rifle bolts. Oh. oh Start getting no. 